wanted to give you a separate but brief video to give you an introduction to how to find some of these Broadman's areas that you're being asked to, to, to identify. So here it's asking for the identification and location and function of Broadman's areas 4, 6, 8, 44, and 45 of the frontal lobe. So how do we get there and how do we navigate that? Well, using Brain Tutor, what you can find is we can use this to help us be able to get to where we see the surface view of the brain so we're not going to do the volume view like this. We're going to do the surface view for this first exam. And then we have our areas listed here. And this is all the gyri uh, that we have. That's wonderful. But what I'm interested in is the Broadman's area. So I'm going to mouse over to where we have this uh, icon here. And then we can go through and we can look at all the different Broadman's areas that we like. So for example, then, if we're looking for um, Broadman's area, let's say, um, let's see, 4, 6, and 8, then what we can do is that we can go ahead and just click on it, Broadman's Area 4. And we can see where Broadman's Area 4 is. And we can also see its function listed here as a primary motor cortex. So the central sulcus actually runs right along here. And then the primary motor cortex is above it. So um, when you're thinking about this, I, you know, it's reasonable to say like, well, <laughs> what's going to be on the exam? Like, how is this going to be tested? And what you'll have is that you'll have st screen stills of this, and you'll need to be able to identify them from different angles. So most of them would be something like this. There might be something from this back angle like this or like this. From the side here or from the front. So those are the types of angles that you can end up having. The other option that you can sometimes have is we are seeing, you know, we have some different areas where we have different Broadman's areas or different gyri and sulci with these um, in the interior portion of it. So you may have an image where you need to identify something from here. So these different Broadman's areas or gyri and sulci, for example, from from this uh, from this particular area of the of the brain. So. That's where um, these are the sort of the different you know regions that we have for the precuneus. For example, we can see that it's positioned right in here, um, and it's the lower medial surface of that parietal lobe. So that's an example of a gyrus that we have in there. So anyway, those are the Broadman's areas and how you can help uh, find them, and it gives you a little bit of an idea of what we're thinking about in terms of uh, being able to identify it. Um, using stills from Brain Tutor. I hope this helps and let me know if you have questions.